I'm spilling lean in my foreign Selling out arenas when I'm touring Got your girlfriend in my bed and she is blurring She recognized me from the covers, Forbes and Fortune Hold up, hold up, I don't mean to flex now I got a few glaciers on my neck What's up everybody, it's Austin here from Make Pop Music and Austin Whole Audio and Visual, and we are back with another tutorial. Today we're gonna do something really, really fun, something you guys have requested a lot, and something that's pretty relevant. Uh, we're gonna be making a track that sounds really, really similar to The Weeknd, so this is kind of gonna be a mix between some of his more poppy stuff and some of his kind of darker hip hop R&B stuff. So it's not gonna be all pop, and it's not gonna be all kind of like dark alternative R&B. So we are gonna find a cool little middle ground. This will be really fun because a lot of you guys in the comments are constantly saying that I sound like the weekend which thank you uh, but we're gonna actually just hop in and see what we can do to actually get a song that sounds similar to the weekend but before we do that I did want to go ahead and say today Monday the day that this video is launching is the absolute last day of our sale everything on our website right now is 50% off all courses bundles sample packs everything 50% off so definitely go to makepopmusic.com and grab it while you can today if you're watching this after Monday and you miss the sale we probably won't have another one uh, for a, a while at least not another 50% so feel free to go to the website anyway and check out all of the stuff we have the more support we get on the site the more we can do videos like this the more that we can develop future Future content that's paid and free and the more it just kind of helps us out so also just want to mention that all of these samples and presets that we're using in this are going to be in a free download it's basically just going to be like a little sample of our samples and presets because all of the drum samples that we're using in this are from the make pop music store and then all of the presets are either going to be free in this or they're from existing packs that have just been modified to fill this song out so definitely go to our store because everything in the song was done with make pop music stuff so Go check it out. If you don't want to, at least download the stuff in the link below for free. Without further ado and without plugging too, too much, let's go ahead and just hop into the DAW and actually deconstruct what would go into a song that sounds just like The Weeknd. Okay, so now that we're actually in the DAW, uh, the first thing that I wanted to do when I was making this song, by the way, this song was created right before I filmed this video, just so I could have some presets and samples ready for you guys. Other than that, we're gonna kind of break it down exactly how I just wrote it an hour ago. So what we're doing for the synth is, I had this melody in mind. So I had that melody, um, and then I really just wanted to create kind of like this cool, crushed little, like plucky, patty lead, um, because The Weeknd has like a lot of those kind of industrial sounds in his, his uh, work. So what I did was, we'll kind of go one thing at a time. So it really just started with this, this little sine wave right here. So. So that's really just a sine wave with the ADSR set. Then the next thing I did was add this analog sign with the sync. So we get some more top end. And then I added this filter and envelope one is also going to the filter. And so now what that's doing is that's kind of making this a little pluck. So we've got analog BD sign. Then we've also got analog BD sign with the wavetable position all the way up and the sync up. Then we've got the filter acting on both of those. Next thing I wanted to do was filter out some low end. So we have something a little bit more kind of mid heavy and stabby. The next thing I wanted to do was I wanted to actually go in and distort it. This is where you're really getting a lot of that character. So that's just a diode preset and it's post, but I'm really only filtering out like the top, top end. Um, drive is pretty low, but mix is pretty high. Drive is actually probably right here about 11 o'clock uh, cause it's automated right here with this. So drive at 11, mix at, I guess like two, 2.30. Then we have a delay. That's one eighth ping pong going back and forth, just a little bit filtered out. And that's just giving me a cool little backbeat on it. Then we've got some reverb. Last thing I did was I added this little filter because before, it just needs to be kind of tamed a little bit. So with everything, now we have this. So the next thing that I wanted to add was definitely, definitely uh, this bass pad right here. 
And so the weekend a lot will use things like uh, like a pad base instead of something like a really hard 808 in his um, verses. And what that does is that just creates a little bit more like ambient vibey thing um, where he'll have his vocals a little bit looser. And then when drums come in, typically that bass will tighten up a little bit. So with that said, I really wanted to add a bass pad to kind of carry that root note melody. And so that's exactly what I did. The progression is really simple. It's just C, B flat, A flat. G, F. That's really all that's gonna go into it. And then the actual pad itself, it's pretty simple. We'll walk through it kind of step by step like we did on the last one. It's that analog BD sign again, so. Then I added this, this is just a saw wave with a unison up on 10. And then what I do is I like to filter out the top end of that. So we get that nice width from that. And then I have a little bit of release carrying over. It's on mono and on legato, and it's got the portamento on, so you get a little bit of that slide. Um, so with that said, there is some processing on this. I'll show you what it sounds like before the processing. So I'm doing the diode, uh, filtering it out post at like 3.30, uh, drive all the way up, mix at like 10 o'clock. So it's not doing anything crazy, crazy. And then we've got a flanger, of course, and a phaser, all doing just barely a little bit of work, all kind of coming from this, uh, this macro right here. So you can see that they're all just barely on like seven o'clock, maybe eight. And that's just giving it a little bit of cool modulation. So this bass pad is pretty simple. It's literally just a sine wave, a saw wave, filter out the top end of the saw, and that's it. So we have that with the main melody now. The next thing I wanted to do was I wanted to add this extra little bell because to me, it was lacking a little bit. So what we did is we went in Serum and made this little bell um, using the basic mini right here the MB saw two octaves up. This is one octave up. This is also one octave up. So we've got three different oscillators. We've got the sub on a square wave. We have oscillator A on basic mini right here, oscillator B on MB saw right here, and then we've got a filter that's doing a lot of the heavy lifting. So I'm going to go oscillator by oscillator and kind of show you guys what's going on. So that's really just like a standard, I'll turn all these off for now too, so we can like really get to how it sounds by itself. So this is just a standard little square pluck. Next thing I did was added oscillator A, which sounds like this on its own. Gives it some width with the unison driven up. And then the next thing I did was added oscillator B, which on its own sounds like. Gives it a little top end brightness. Then the next thing we did was we had this filter that is controlling all of them, but more importantly, it's key tracking. So as you play, that filter is gonna move to wherever you want. So if you can set that somewhere around the note, it'll act really musically with your actual sound instead of just filtering out everything like, like I can't play the high notes because they're all filtered out. Where if I turn this on, it really lets me kind of do what I want with that. So that's on just low 24, cutoff is at 288, um, and then the resonance is not doing, and then the resonance is actually pretty high because that's what gives it such a cool, like nice little plucky tone where if I drive that down, so that's what gives it like that bubbliness and then we're just running that into distortion. But I don't really have the distortion being driven too hard. Then some flanger, some phaser, and some chorus. Then we've got some delay and some reverb. And the reverb is super high on this because I really want something that's gonna drown out a lot. Then we're just filtering out the low end with the EQ. 
So that mixed in with that main synth sounds really sick. So the next thing that we're adding is a wind pad. And this is also in Serum. Let's open this up and we can kind of look at what's going on here. So this pad is called Wind Howl and it is three oscillators, the sub oscillator A, oscillator B, and a noise. Um, and the noise actually makes a big difference on this. So what we've got is we've got all of these oscillators. It's just uh, saw, analog BD sine, basic MCB. And then we've got this filter right here. Cutoff is pretty low going to A, B, and S. So it's not controlling in, um, which is really important. So here's what it sounds like with no filter. Brace your ears, this might be kind of loud. But let's turn that filter on and let's hear how it sounds now. So we're going with something that's really high, really resonant. And then when we filter it out, it kind of gives us like that nice, spacey, angelic, just really, really clean sound. Um, so that's what we got going for that. Then we added this noise right here from their SOR folder, which is just polar. It's like this cool little wind noise and I key tracked this as well. So that added in. So that adds like this cool kind of creepy, like ghosty sound. Then we just added hyper with these settings right here, right there, right at 40, detune at 25, unison at four, mix at 15, size at 20, mix at 28. We added the flanger, not really doing too, too much, phaser and chorus, both doing a little bit more. So now we're getting some of that kind of weird modulation and movement. Added a ton of reverb. And then added some EQ just to boost that top end and uh, kind of scoop out some of those low mids. Then super importantly, we added this filter and this is controlling everything. So it's just cutting off a little bit of that high end from that wind patch where I didn't want as much cut off as like I did with the sense that we're getting filtered out, but I still don't want it super bright. So this is what it sounds like altogether. And with everything layered, it creates this really, really nice big texture. So that's all that's really going on for now. Um, and then we start to add some drums and some uh, extra sense in, in this next part. But let's go ahead and let's start talking about the vocal and the vocal melody that we have going here. So I'm gonna enable the lead vocal. And I wanted to write something that was very weak and driven where it like seemed like a really, really easy, quick flex. Uh, but then if you look into the lyrics a little bit more, it's actually a bit darker. Just basically wrote it about how uh, you get a lot of money, you get a lot of fame, you get a lot of attention, but like all of it starts to really mean nothing. Um, and it just creates like this, this big void inside. So you'll see that there's kind of like, as we go through the song, this dichotomy of like flexing and then being sad and then flexing and then being sad. And it kind of goes back and forth. Um, so check this out. This is what the lead vocal sounds like. I'm spilling lean in my foreign, selling out arenas when I'm touring. Got your girlfriend in my bed and she is blurring. She recognized me from the covers, Forbes and Fortune. Hold up, hold up, I don't mean to flex. And for that vocal, we're not doing anything crazy. Um, we're just doing like the simple things that I do all the time, similar to how we did in the R&B vocals. I'll just run through it real quick for you guys. Auto-Tune is working pretty hard on this. The Weeknd has pretty tuned vocals. Virtual Mix Rack, we've got the uh, FG800M because I was using my ML1. Then we've got FGN boosting the top a little bit, cutting the lows a little bit. And then we've got the FG116 uh, Modern, basically the blue stripe. And that's just set to the modern vocal smooth. And I'm just giving it a little bit of extra gain. Lean in my and then we've got a DSer, which is just to the male wideband, not really doing anything crazy. We've got a 2A that's kind of squeezing it. Out when, I'm when you want that like really kind of whispery weekendy vocal, lots of compression is going to come in huge because otherwise it's going to kind of be in and out. Uh, then we were just taking out some weird little resonant frequencies. I can kind of show you real quick. Foreign. 
Let's so those all needed to be cut just a little bit. Then DSing it again, and then adding a little bit of multiband to kind of help control that low end and that kind of brittle high mids right there. Then we're sending it to the vocal parallel widening, which is just a dimension D on setting number three. We're also sending it to reverb long, which is the St. Sylvian 295 second, 100% uh, wet because it's on ascend. Pre-delay is at 22 milliseconds. And then we're filtering that out with some EQ, EQing out everything pretty much above 2400 and below 300. Then we've also got a short reverb right here where we are doing uh, the small Vox room at 708 milliseconds, 100% wet, pre-delay is at like 9 milliseconds, not doing any kind of extra filtering or EQing. We've got a stereo Vox delay that's one fourth ping pong. Uh, feedback is pretty low. Low pass and high pass are kind of uh, just getting rid of any kind of top end or low end that's going to get muddy and get in the way of the mix. I like filtering that out. And then I also send my uh, delays to my reverb. So I'll send this stereo delay back to my long reverb. That way the delay will kind of sit in where the normal vocal will sit in by itself. And then lastly, I've got this little slap delay, which is just the H delay set to the slab delay insert. 100% wet, that's also just gonna give it a little bit of extra width. So adding all of those things in, here's kind of how we blended them to taste. Minus uh, 24 dB, minus 15 and a half, minus 26, minus 15, minus 24 and a half. Um, and that's just going to give us a little bit of extra width, a little bit of extra depth, and a little bit of extra space because the weekend vocals are super, super spacey. So here's what it sounds like dry. I'm spilling lean in my forehead, selling out arenas when I'm touring. Got your girlfriend in my bed and she is exploring. She recognized me from the covers, Forbes and Fortune. Hold up, hold up, hold up. So let's talk about where we're going to start pulling in some drums now. So. I'm just going to go ahead and turn them all on and we'll just go one by one. So for this next part, I definitely wanted to pull in some kicks and some snares and some extra percussion um, because I don't want the whole verse to be super, super minimal. So what we added in was I added this kick right here and the kick is uh, the gray kick from our pop star pack. And then I added a few snares. We've got uh, the crispy clap from our hip hop pack. We've got the pop star uh, snare from our hip hop pack. And then we've got the BitConnect Snap from our Dark Pop pack. So, so far we've used hop, uh, Pop Star, Hip Pop, and Dark Pop. So here's what the kick and the snare sound like. I wanted something that just kind of vibed with that bass pad. Oh, I also added this extra little this extra little roomy hit that was from the hip pop pack. So basically what I'm doing is I'm using some of the things every other, you'll kind of see them highlighted. So I'm only using that extra snap on every other snare hit. And that just adds a little bit of extra depth. Then what I did was I added this cool little like ice rim smack from the Sounds of Life pack. And that has a delay on it. So it kind of hits and then delays over. So we've got something like this. Then I just wanted some extra little like trap snares. So I added those on the background. Um, and then what I do a lot of the time is I'll write them out in MIDI and then I'll automate the pitch. This is just the 08 snare that came from the hip hop pack. And then what that's doing is pitching up and down. So I'll, I'll highlight it so you can kind of see the semitones right here. So we've got all of that now. That's really helping create this kind of bounce and this rhythm. Uh, with everything all together, we're getting we're getting some vibe now. But we really needed some extra bounce, um, and that's where this loop came in. This is loop number thirteen in the one eighty folder of Sounds of Life. Then we added this extra loop on the second half of this. It's the ping pong's hat. It's loop number 14. Here's that here's what that one sounds like. Then we just added a simple little ah hit also from Sounds of Life so we have a little bit of a down hit. 
And that's pretty much it for the verse percussion. So let's go ahead and listen with all the percussion and the vocals, and then I'll add in the one extra little synth that we added. Um, so here's what the vocals sound like and what the drums sound like. From the covers, pops and fortune. Hold up, hold up, I don't mean to flex now. I got a few glaciers on my neck now. And everyone showed me some respect now. I'm on the top, what did you expect now? Took a couple hits, now we faded. All you bitches mad, you never made it. I've been stacking paper, no, you hate it. I'm a motherfucking legend, no debating. Then I just have this bracelet reverse screech from the Sounds of Life process pack and this bracelet slam transition um, that are going to take me into the pre-chorus. There is one extra synth that we added in this verse, so let's go ahead and get to that. And that's this cool little like bit crushed. It's not really an ARP, but I kind of play it as an ARP because we're using it in mono. So this is just a bit crushed bass pluck in the actual folder of presets that I gave you guys. So here's what the bit crushed ARP kind of sounds like by itself. And that's just these two oscillators with a filter. Envelope 2 is controlling the filter a little bit. And then we've got some distortion, some delay, some reverb, some chorus, and some EQ. I'm not going to dive into this one too, too much because it's pretty simple. Um, and the preset is there if you want to deconstruct it on your own. So that one sounds like that alone. And then in the mix, it just adds this cool little uh, kind of backbeat to the synth. Fortune, hold up, hold up, I don't mean to flex now. I got a few glaciers on my neck now. Everyone showed me some respect now. So that's pretty much it. Then for the pre-chorus, we just have that little bracelet slam and some transitions, and we take that little arp out, change up the vocal melody. Um, so we don't really do any production right now in the pre-chorus. So, we're ready to go into the hook now. Let's actually go into this chorus and let's break down everything that we've added because there are quite a few additions. So for the drums, we really just changed up that kick pattern and just made them doubles. Other than that, uh, the general drums are basically the same. We added these two little hits right here, the chair sliding impact and the peppercorn impact from Sounds of Life. And so that's layered over all the drums. Now, let's go ahead and let's talk about all of the symbols we added. We added some hi-hats, and I believe, yeah, these are all from the hip-hop pack. Um, and basically what I did was I just wrote them in, and you can see that there's two different ones. And what I did was I threw on uh, multipass because before it just sounds like this when I drew them in. But I wanted a little bit of variation just so it didn't get really boring. So I threw on multipass on drum modulator, literally didn't change anything, and that gave them all the life they needed for this mix. So it kind of does this like cool little weird pitching, gives them some modulation, kind of spreads them out a little bit. And that really just helped keep that bounce uh, exciting. So we have those, then we added this electric ride that's gonna hit on the backbeat on every other snare. Then we added the cymbal crash that's gonna hit every single time. So it's like a fourth, kind of like a, like a drum, a drummer would actually play it. And that just gave us like a cool little nice like flow. I don't hear a lot of hip hop productions use a straight up crash like that a lot. Um, so I really wanted to do it just to give everything a bit more urgency and kind of let it flow a little more. And then we added in this clap right here. It's just the swords clap from our dark pop pack. That's layered on the back. I don't think we even did anything to it. And that's just to give the snare a little bit of extra depth in the chorus. So everything together in this hook sounds like this now. Then we just added this big crash right here, big hip hop crash. So 
So that's pretty much it. Then we have some extra synths that we have added. So let's go ahead and let's start adding in these extra synths so you can hear what that sounds like. So we layered up that main synth with this 80 synth right here from Serum. Uh, I'd called it Starboy Era. It's literally just like a detuned saw wave. So that one added this cool little like 80s vibe that The Weeknd has a lot in his songs. I wanted something that kind of played with that because otherwise this is pretty hip hop weekend. Um, then there's this High Bells preset that is really, really cool. It's called Hell Bells. And I don't want to dive into this a lot because this one was kind of complicated to make, but it basically uses the Enharmon, uh, Enharmonics number five, just kind of giving it a little bit of extra pluck. So it's just to give it a little bit of extra hiss. Um, and then we've got this little wavetable right here that was made. Uh, six unison, not super detuned asymmetry but not really doing too much and then we have fm splat so what well, everything kind of sounds like by itself so we have all of that then we just have a bunch of stuff on here like a compressor an eq a delay and a reverb and when we add everything in it gives us like this cool little like It gives us like this really like crushed, kind of gross, nasty bell. Layered over everything I think sounds so sick. Then the last thing we added, for a sense at least, was this organ pad. And that's just to give everything some extra sustain. And we basically just have this and then it's got kickstart on it. So this is just a sine wave and then an add third sine wave, which is typically how organs work. They just kind of like, basically we'll add extra harmonics on top of like a sine or a square. So that's what this sounds like by itself. Um, not really doing anything super, super crazy. It's not a very fun patch, but what I did was I threw kickstart on it so it would just have a little bit of extra bounce. And that's pretty much it for the synths. So let's take a listen to the synths and the drums by themselves. And now let's go ahead and add the much awaited 808. So this 808, I've given it away a few times. It's just called Poppy Seed. It'll be in here. I'll just keep calling it Poppy Seed so nobody gets confused. It's literally just an analog BD sign um, with some distortion and some compression. And here's what it sounds like. So now let's talk about all of the vocals that we added. So we talked a little bit about lyrical content earlier and you kind of see how that plays out in this. Uh, but when I'm writing melodies, I kind of fall into the same thing as The weekend, where it's very like, kind of hovers around a few notes. I'll kind of highlight the vocals so you can see. So this whole melody is basically only three notes. It's basically just C, B flat, and A flat, and then sometimes I'll drop down to F. So, I mean, it's a very, very, very simple vocal melody and it carries through most of the song and that's typically what The weekend does. I'm spilling lean in my foreign, selling out arenas when I'm touring. And you probably recognize that from a lot of their songs. Then I kind of switch it up like every eight bars, just a little bit. Hold up, hold up, I don't mean to flex now. I got a few places on my neck now. So I keep a lot of the notes the same. Um, I just kind of rearrange how they're used. So the weekend's typically floating around those same exact notes, and then we'll just swap around the order. Uh, and the, the different kind of rhythm of them, depending on the melody. Me then we kind of swap it up again here. Take a couple hits, now we fade it. All you bitches mad you never made it. I've been stacking paper, no you hate it. 
I'm a motherfucking legend, no debating. So that one, we kind of swap it up so it just feels new and interesting because other than that, we had done that da 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 so much. Respect now. I'm on the top, what did you expect now? Take a couple hits and we fade it. And that just helps the song kind of keep moving along because that melody was getting a little boring. Um, and if we would have taken eight more bars, it would have been extremely boring and people probably would have turned it off. So we decided to swap it up. Then we go into this little pre-chorus. But I can't seem to find any peace. Popping pills every night so I sleep. Think I'll drown in the luxury. Bury me six feet underneath now. So same exact notes, but just swapping up the uh, the actual rhythm, and that to me is is what you hear a lot in the weekend song. Just simple, simple melody. Swap up the rhythm, swap up the order of the notes, and then you've pretty much got a full melody. Um, so let's go ahead and let's turn on all the vocals now, so you can kind of hear what we did. We've got the chorus, uh, and I went pretty simple with vocal production on this. It's just a lead vocal in the middle. You know, I spend the bag on a regular. You know, she throw it back. But I also sang that two more times, panned it uh, right and then panned it left. So we've got this now. You know, I spend the bag on a regular. You know, she throw it back on a regular. Oh yeah, you know I brag on a regular. But then I also threw in a higher octave. So same thing, just an octave up in falsetto. You know, I spend the bag on a regular. You know, she throw it back on a regular. Oh yeah, you know I brag on a regular. And there is a lot of reverb, a ton of delay, and one thing that The Weeknd does do a lot is add that kind of falsetto harmony, just so it has a little bit of extra brightness, because in the mix, it does make a huge difference. Here's without that. Let's add that back in so you can hear. Six feet underneath now. that little post course which is again something that the weekend does a lot where he just repeats one word um and that kind of becomes a hook like he did a lot in heartless he's done it a lot in the past uh six feet under false alarm literally so many weekend songs star boy are just literally repeated like small words or small phrases uh then we just added in this low wide end vocal it's just the main vocal duplicated you see me do it a million times tune it down a whole octave throw on doubler and then let that shit rock you know she throw it back on the regular. Oh yeah, you know I brag on the regular. And honestly, that is the entire production. Let me make sure I didn't leave anything out. Nah, that's it. Whole thing was done with just to make pop samples out of a few different packs. Uh, made some presets. Everything is going to be in the description below. Uh, you can download a pack of all of it for free. Let's just listen to it one good time. If not, you can skip this and go straight to the outro. But we're going to take a listen to the full thing all the way through. I'm spilling lean in my foreign. Selling out arenas when I'm touring. Got your girlfriend in my bed and she is blurring. She recognized me from the covers, hopes and fortune. Hold up, hold up, I don't mean to flex now. I got a few glaciers on my neck now. And everyone showed me some respect now. I'm on the top, what did you expect now? Take a couple hits, now we fade it. All you bitches mad, you never made it. I've been stacking paper, no, you hate it. I'm a motherfucking legend, no debating. But I can't seem to find any peace. Every night so I sleep Think I'll drown in the luxury Bury me six feet underneath now You know I spend the bag on a regular
That's how you do a weekend song. And that's it. As you can see, a weekend song is pretty simple to kind of make. You really just have to find a really, really nice dark melody, find a really kind of grungy synth. It could be something like this. You could easily go with something like a little bit more plucked, kind of spacey bell vibe. Um, but just finding some darkness, I think, is really going to be the starting point. And then just layering that with some bass, some extra synths, uh, and then really just get like banging drums. And it's all about the vocal melody for the weekend. So the holistic songwriting actually has done a video in the past where he kind of breaks down how the weekend writes his lyrics and melody. So I will link that uh, below because that is just basically a full video only talking about melody patterns that the weekend is writing with. So that definitely came in handy when I was working on this video. So definitely go check that out from our friends Holistic Songwriting. But hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. It all really, really helps us in the algorithm and it really, really helps us reach new people to give them free content like this. Other than that, let us know what you guys want to see next time and we will be back soon. Much love, everybody. Peace out. I'm spilling lean in my forehead Selling out arenas when I'm touring Got your girlfriend in my bed and she is blowing She recognized me from the covers, Forbes and Fortune Hold up, hold up, I don't